Hello everyone and welcome to my young and restless gossip channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sharon takes the spotlight for a off-the-wall journey. Sharon has been through a lot on the young and the restless during the last year. Her run-in with a very much alive and even more deranged Cameron Kristen gained her not just a new perspective on life, but also a new firm to call her own. At the same time, she demonstrated that when it comes to Nick, the sparks may still fly. But for every victory, there seems to be a setback, like her romance with Chance, which hasn't been the same since Summer set her sights on him, too. YNR Sharon Nick Sharon has a few things to figure out as the new year begins. Fortunately, she'll have a full episode to herself on Friday, January 5th. Sharon Kay spoke with Soap Opera Digest about the next episode, which caught her completely off guard. In fact, she revealed that she only discovered what was going on after she read through the screenplay and realized she was on every page. It's not your typical episode, but rather a journey across Sharon's dreamscape as she tries to figure out where she is. Sharon is ambitious and definitely an overachiever, Case told Digest, implying that she has a lot to work through and a lot of people in her life to deal with. Though we don't know who else will appear in the show, the actress guarantees that their appearances will be entertaining. The circumstances with each of those people were specific and there's a lot of fun stuff, she said. You would never imagine in a million years the vignettes I was doing with the other characters. It was simply some crazy, out-of-the-box stuff. It was a lot of fun for all of us. Sharon chants YNR. But what does it all imply, and what caused it? That is something we will have to wait and see. Sharon has emerged from the funk she'd been in since Ray's death, and if the new year begins with a deep look at herself, it's already shaping up to be a life-changing one. Will Sharon fight for chance or accept that she and Nick are destined to be together? Will she put everything she has into the new company and become a corporate force to be reckoned with, or will she decide that Crimson Lights is where she belongs? After a dream, Case would only say, there are one or two things you feel you've learned to grasp and you're going to hang on to. However, there are still many unanswered questions. The lingering questions, the ones that didn't get answered for you, are still useful because they put you on the path to resolving those issues. Hey, maybe Sharon will end up there, solving not just her own, but also other people's problems. After all, the sky is the limit in Genoa City. All we know for sure is that if she sets her mind to something, she'll almost certainly get it. At least for a while. Not Tucker, but Ashley is having a mental breakdown. According to The Young and the Restless, YNR, Teasers, Ashley Abbott, Eileen Davidson may be having a mental breakdown, not Tucker McCall, Trevor St. John. The exes have two versions of what happened at that Parisian restaurant. Tucker, according to Ashley, hurled a chair and broke a wine glass. He argues that all he did was spill the wine glass. Tucker also has no recollection of a server watching them. Ashley is still getting disturbing flashbacks. A probable spoiler implies that she is once again battling with her mental health. Spoilers for The Young and the Restless, What Happened in Paris? According to The Young and the Restless spoilers, people want to know what occurred in Paris. Both sides of the story were exposed on Thursday, December 28th th's show. YNR spoilers, Ashley or Tucker having a mental breakdown, Tucker claims he was not abusive to Ashley. He was ranting and tossing objects, she claims. Whatever occurred generated a commotion in Paris. On the SoapCentral.com message boards, user 24 kc 76 asked the following question, was Tucker being abusive to Ash in Paris throwing things or no? At the time of writing, more than 37% of YNR fans believe Tucker did not throw anything at her. 20% of fans claimed he threw glasses and chairs. They confessed they would have been as terrified as Ashley was at the time. The remaining fans had various theories about what had occurred. Tucker's actions, according to Young and the Restless Spoilers, is what caused their marriage to fail. Ashley still loves Tucker, but she can't be near him. Tucker's rage has been directed against other women, especially Audra Charles, Zuleika Silver. Some admirers, however, do not believe he is as vicious as Ashley alleges. Ashley's Mental Breakdown YNR Spoilers 
According to a purported teaser, Ashley is the one who is having a mental collapse. This could explain why she has a distinct perspective. Ashley walked around the 2003 New Year's Eve celebration with her phony baby on Friday, December 29th. She was clutching a baby blanket. Victor Newman, Eric Braden, came across Ashley when she was walking around. She appeared befuddled and disoriented. Ashley thought her son Robert was still alive. Some YNR followers believe it's a sign that Ashley isn't feeling well. A member of the public said, I think they chose this episode for a reason since Ashley and Tucker both see his outburst differently. Lucy intentionally and anonymously leaks Heather and Daniel sleeping together photograph. According to Young and the Restless, YNR, spoilers, while Lucy Romilotti, Lily Brooks O'Brien, likes Lily Winters, Crystal Khalil, she secretly wants her parents to reconcile. Will she go to any length to ensure this happens? Spoilers for the Young and the Restless family time becomes sleeping time. According to YNR spoilers, the Thursday, December 28th episode of The Soap revealed a lot of insight into this storyline. Lucy, Heather Stevens, Dale Bloom, and Daniel Romilotti, Michael Graziade, spent New Year's Eve watching movies together at home. Lucy and Daniel, predictably, fell asleep. Heather opted to snuggle into Daniel's arms and fall asleep herself when she noticed this. Spoilers for Young and the Restless, Lucy purposely, and anonymously, leaks Heather and Daniel sleeping together photograph. Lucy awoke during the night, spotted her parents in this adorable yet vulnerable position, and decided to take a shot with her phone. The two awoke shortly after she laid a blanket over them and had a New Year's kiss. Hashtag when the cats away the mice will play. Lucy Romilotti wants to see her parents reunited on YNR. According to YNR teasers, Lucy's reactions changed during Thursday's episode when Daniel discussed going to see Lily while she's assisting Maddie Ashby, Lexi Stevenson, in the aftermath of her wildfire tragedy. She probably just wants to see her parents together, not because she dislikes Lily. Especially now her father has cleaned up his act. She, like any other youngster, want to reunite with her family. Nonetheless, Lucy is the granddaughter of Phyllis Summers, Michelle Stafford. Could she make the decision to take affairs into her own hands? If Daniel tries to cover up what happened on New Year's Eve and lies to Lily about it, Lucy may opt to anonymously publish the photo on social media or a website. She might also text or email the shot to Lily using an unknown number or login. In any case, Daniel will be haunted by that shot in a huge way. Will Lucy reveal the photo of her parents sleeping together to Lily? Participate in the discussion in the comments area. Colleen Zank was wasted by the Young and the Restless? According to the Young and the Restless spoilers, Big Evil Aunt Jordan, Colleen Zank, is no longer a threat to the Newmans. This week on the CBS soap, the As the World Turns star appeared to be leaving as she was brought away in handcuffs. But did the YNR miss out on a fantastic actress? Aunt Jordan's huge takedown appears to have divided CBS soap lovers. Continue reading for more information and a sneak peek at this week's The Young and the Restless spoilers. The Young and Restless have been wasted who is Colleen Zank, spoilers for The Young and the Restless, is Colleen Zank gone forever? On The Young and the Restless, we know that when a bad guy goes to jail, he isn't necessarily truly gone. Unfortunately, it appears that Colleen Zank's role Aunt Jordan was only a ruse to lure Claire Grace, Haley Aaron, and Cole Howard, Eddie Peck Jr., into Genoa City. Haley Aaron is a fantastic actress and a significant acquisition for the CBS serial, so we can see why they went to such measures to bring her in, and bringing back a love interest for Victoria Newman, Amelia Heinley, was a bonus. But did they really need to waste Colleen Zank on a one-off character? Colleen Zank has thousands of devoted followers from her time as a cast member on As the World Turns. Zank's name is well known in the world of soap operas. Viewers were overjoyed to learn she would be joining the young and the restless. She also nailed the role of eccentric Aunt Jordan. But why did her plot have to be so brief? Spoilers for the young and the restless, did the young and the restless waste a mega talent? We were all hoping that when she joined YNR, it would be on a more permanent basis. However, it's possible that the CBS soap couldn't afford to keep her on the payroll for an extended period of time. What are your thoughts? Were you sad to see Aunt Jordan leave even though she was a complete psychopath?